Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Ghadibiya Palace members of the Royal Family and Senior State Officials. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of national unity between Bahrainis to maintain the gains and achievements of the Kingdom. He stressed the need for more awareness and cooperation to overcome political and economic challenges to protect the security and stability of Bahrain and achieve further prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace an Indian delegation representing activists of the peaceful coexistence field, currently on a visit to the kingdom to be informed about its unique coexistence experience. His Royal Highness affirmed that coexistence is an integral part of the Bahraini culture and noted that the kingdom has become a role model regarding freedom of religion and coexistence. His Royal Highness noted the cooperation between the Kingdom and India in various fields and hailed the remarkable role of the Indian community in supporting the development march in the Kingdom. For their part, the Indian delegation expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his remarkable support to the Indian community in the Kingdom, noting Bahrain's government's support to the values of coexistence as well as its role in promoting cultural dialogue. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace the newly appointed German ambassador to Bahrain, Alfred Zimsprotz. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the strength of the Bahraini-German relations and the steady progress of bilateral cooperation in various fields. He also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering Bahraini-German ties in all fields so as to boost joint cooperation and coordination. 
His Royal Highness affirmed that the envoy would receive all necessary support so as to ensure the success of his diplomatic mission and enhance cooperation between the two friendly countries. His Royal Highness also discussed with the ambassador the latest regional and global developments. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to provide him with all kinds of support as well as desire to bolster bilateral relations and cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibia Palace today former commander of United States Central Command General James Mattis former director of United Kingdom Special Forces Brigadier Graeme Lam and advisor of the Duke of Westminster Andre Pinar the Prime Minister highlighted the historic relations and strong cooperation Bahrain has with the United States and the United Kingdom, pointing out the American and British officials' role in supporting military and defense cooperation between Bahrain and their countries during their terms. His Royal Highness reviewed with the audience regional and international updates and confirmed the necessity of precautionary measures to avoid conflict and tension in the region. He said the deterioration of the regional security situation required a strong international cooperation to ensure security and stability. The audience meanwhile expressed admiration of the development of Bahrain, which reflects the government's modernization approach led by His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister. Deputy Premier and President of the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, patronized today the opening ceremony of the 5th International E-Learning Conference, organized by the University of Bahrain and Zain's E-Learning Center. The three-day conference attracts a group of international e-learning experts who will discuss the best means to develop e-learning through more than 100 research papers selected among 150. Six world prominent e-learning experts are taking part in the conference in addition to over 400 researchers, specialists and academics from, from about 40 countries. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak expressed pleasure in opening the conference themed Cognitively Informed Technology, which will explore the prospects for creative learning and mental stimulation in e-learning. He expressed pride in hosting the event, which confirms Bahrain's status in the field of e-learning, thanking the University of Bahrain and Zain e-learning center for organizing the event. He said that uh, for UOB to organize the conference and for the e-learning center to be chosen as the headquarters for the GCC Secretariat General's awards for designing and developing e-courses confirms its vital role in serving the Bahraini society and its effective contrib contribution in the educational process. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi delivered a speech during which he pointed out the continued development the Bahrain is achieving in the educational field in regards uh, in general and in e-learning fields in particular through the initiatives of the National Project for Learning and Training which include His Majesty King Hamad's Future Schools Project. On behalf of the GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, Head of Human and Environment Affairs Department Dr. Adil Zayani hailed Bahrain's efforts in reinforcing joint action in the educational field. During the ceremony, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak honored the sponsors and speakers of the event, as well as the winners and judges of the GCC Secretariat General's Award for designing and developing e-courses. After that, the Deputy Premier opened and toured a special exhibition of e-learning technology on the sidelines of the conference.
Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to the site of the Chinese Dragon City. Bahrain's Dragon City is being constructed as part of Diyar Muharraq project as is set to be inaugurated in December. The Deputy Premier affirmed Bahrain's commitment to preserve its competitive ability to attract investment capitals and provide encouraging facilities for major development projects. He said that despite the extraordinary financial situation in the region due to the international oil price, Bahrain continues to attract foreign capitals which reflects confidence in the kingdom's local market which is based on solid legislative and economic foundations. He commended the construction work in the 100 million US dollar Dragon City while touring the project. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said Dragon City is one of the promising projects in the local and regional retail and wholesale trade, adding that it reflects the government's support to economic and investment environments. The Bahraini parliamentary delegation to the 133 Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union are in Geneva led by Speaker of the Representatives Council and Head of the Delegation Ahmed Al Mullah, during which he will deliver a speech regarding numerous reforms in the political and parliamentary fields in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And now we are joined from Geneva by Member of the Representatives Council and Member of the Parliamentary Delegation Mohammed Al Jodar. Bahrain has proved by virtue of its participation in the IBO number 133 assembly that uh, despite its young parliamentary experience and being small geographically, its participation and offering as measurable. This also manifests that Bahrain endeavor to command, uh, I mean to cement the concept of universal civil security while exerting all possible efforts to yield fruitful cooperation with all member states and the international community being repre represented by their respective interparliamentary group. As such, the significance of the participation in such international undertaking headed by His Excellency Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, Speaker of the Council Representative, as Brian indicated that the Kingdom of Bahrain is uh, determined to continue its plan and to uphold its international commitments toward international parliamentary. Uh, today meetings that focus on the proposed item of the Asian group in addition to the Arab and Islamic group submitted by the United Arab Emirates, Sudan, Syria and Mexico. Uh, the Women Parliamentaries Committee also convened, which is relevant to the Parliament Human Rights Committee, and hence uh, was attended by uh, member of Parliament Ali Al Aradi. Today's meeting shall be of special importance, as it shall commence with the opening the Assembly meeting, followed by meeting of the Competence, uh, Competence Committee, Democracy and Human Rights and as well as the international peace and security, parliamentary human rights, and the association of the parliamentary secretary general. Uh, today, there was, uh, today there was an, uh, a note about the, uh, about the, the concept, uh, about, sorry, the moral and economic imperative for the fairer, smarter, and more human migration. Uh, I'm, I'm just reading this one, uh, and there was a, a, a note about the terrorism, the need to enhance global cooperation against the threat to democracy and individual rights. This uh, note was a really very valued uh, uh, note. And I'm just uh, leaving from the hall, which uh, Bahrain give, uh, give a note about this uh, uh, fact. Thank you for joining us and we wish you all the best. Here's Mohammed Yusuf with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah.
A very good evening. You're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. Tim Keen signed an agreement today with Microsoft to provide a set of programs called Office 365 within an, institu an institutional support program. The package contains a number of updated and new Microsoft programs, which uses a private storage system on a cloud-based platform. These steps are part of Tim Keen's empowerment programs to provide different solutions, which will increase efficiency and effectiveness to benefit the private and the public sectors. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,248.87 points, a decrease of 8.79 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks, investments and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sector, representing 38% of total shares traded. 29 transactions took place with 496,425 shares, worth 137,595 Bahraini dinars. Here's Fatma with the latest sports news. Thank you, Zara. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain Television. Starting with the latest local updates where Bahrain added today nine silver medals for their tally at the second GCC Games being held in Dammam in Saudi Arabia. Salman Al-Kindi, Yusuf Al-Shirawi and Hamad Ayash took three medals each in three different weight competitions of the weightlifting championship, lifting Bahrain's tally to 12 medals in total. Meanwhile, Bahrain were handed their first defeat in the handball championship. The Nationals went down 31 to 33 points to host nation Saudi Arabia at Prince Nayef bin Abdulaziz Sports City. In another match, Oman defeated the UAE 30 to 26 for their first win in the championship. Bahrain will now take a day break before moving back into action tomorrow when they play their third game against the UAE. This championship is being played in a single round robin format and the team to finish with the highest number of points will be crowned champions on the final day on October 22nd.